guys and welcome back to need for speed underground 2 so we're just since we're up in this area we're just going to finish off this area and get all the races done so the next up is this circuit right here um if you didn't uh hear it at the beginning of the last episode oh god why do you gotta do this to me god damn it i didn't want to do this but i it's there and so now i have to do it oh god um, if you if you didn't hear it at the beginning of the last episode, I am going to be recording these back to back to back and this week at some point the final episode of Need for Speed Underground 2 is going to come. I'm going to try to cover a lot of ground in this episode. I'm hopefully going to finish the sponsor in this episode. I have a feeling I lost this. I had too many over revs. Yep, there it goes. God damn it. It, it was it was a lost cause one way or another. I, I was so far behind the first place person I was not catching up. Why is it giving me short shifts? Okay, we got the lead. I just got to maintain it. Shit. Come on. Where's the end? There it is. Oh, okay. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it. That one wasn't so bad. I don't know why, but out of nowhere, just drag races have become the bane of my existence. I think it's because my gear ratio is so small for a perfect shift on this car. Like, I have to be almost perfect every single time. All right. Let's get to that circuit now. Well, this is an interesting place to put a race. Am I at Dominic Toretto's house? Oh my god. This better be a two lap race. Oh my god. Thank God. This is like almost the entirety. I didn't break the game. I swear. This is like the entirety of this Beacon Hills district. Where's the first place guy? Oh, he's all the way up there. How did he get all the way up there? I didn't see anybody go. I only saw the two cars go in front of me. It's all right. The nice thing is there's a lot of space. Like, there's good things and bad things about long tracks. The good thing is, like, you got a lot of space to try and catch up. But... The bad thing is, if you mess up at the end, and you have to restart, it just takes forever to race it again. So it's like... You, you almost have to use the space at the beginning of the race to just get as much distance as you can, so that way if you run into a car or something at the end, you aren't completely bone and of course save the nitrous oh 
I always try to save at least one full bar of nitrous. Because usually that can take you through like three or four gears. If, uh, from like a dead stop. So it can usually hit, make you hit about 100 mile an hour pretty quickly. And that really helps put you back on track after a bad crash. Okay, these turns are a lot tighter than I'm anticipating. Also, what is with the rain? I don't think it stopped raining at all. Or either that or every single time I enter into a race, it's raining. But whenever I'm not in a race, it's like... Oh, we're gonna be clear skies, stars are gonna be out. It's gonna be amazing. All right. One lap took three minutes, good Lord. Yeah, the, these long track races, I'm not a huge fan of them. Like, I would much rather have a short track where I have to restart a couple of times versus a long track where I have to restart once, maybe. Just because it just takes less time. I don't know. That's just me. I mean, you, you think about it. That last track race took me, what, like 39 seconds or something like that? I can do seven retries in that drag race by the time I finish this one race. Assuming I each retry of each retry of the drag race is retried at the end of it and I do the full 39 seconds. And so you have a better chance of retry like two through seven doing better all around and you you don't have to worry about doing the whole seven to ten minute race again because you know if i come in second and i have to redo this race it's another like 10 minutes just to see if i'm gonna actually win the race or not Okay, I gotta remember these turns are a lot tighter than I think. No way! How? How do I thread the needle that much? Oh my god. I swear to god, if that's the race breaker for me, and I have to restart because I just did that... Okay, all right, I should have it. Oh my god, I literally slid right into there. That was such shit, man. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, we, we did it, we got it, we beat it, it's fine. I don't have to spend another 10 minutes to try to redo that race. Oh my god. All right, all right, come on, give me the end of the sponsor. Mm. Ah, man. My throat's, like, super scratchy today for some reason. It was actually bugging me the last couple of days. Alright. Let's do the Street X. It's just right here, but I gotta freaking 
back out of a parking lot. They really do put these race locations in some of the weirdest places, I swear. I'm almost looking forward to this street X. Is that bad? Is that bad? Like, I'm almost looking forward to this just because I'm so sick of the drag races right now. And because I'm running the RX-7, I'm a little bit higher performing in the Street X races. Alright. Okay, I just epically failed at hitting everybody there. But I took first, so that's... No, I didn't. You, bitch. Okay. Alright, we're out front. We just gotta keep the front. Did we go around a, a roundabout and I don't even realize it? Or is that just a different track? Oh, that's just a different track. Gotcha. Okay. See, I... It just goes to show you some cars are definitely better suited than others for specific types of races because like if i had for example the mustang gt right i would not be able to perform this well on a street x race i'm about to lap somebody that's how well i'm performing versus a drag race where i have such small gear ratios that it's taking me five six seven eight tries to do a drag race because I have to get a perfect shift every single time to be able to keep up with the pack. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy how things change so much with different vehicles. I know we got a sprint here pretty close by as well. Are you going to give me uh, something special? I wonder if I have to get done with all of these races that are currently available and that will be the quote unquote end of my sponsor. Uh, we still got nothing else. We got two sprints and three circuits left. This sprint is literally just right up the hill. We're still not getting anything too crazy. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit up button, not left, uh, the other button. Okay, this looks relatively straightforward, question mark? It didn't look too bad. It was, it looked like there was some turns, but it wasn't like some crazy, like, da, 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 like you're getting slapped in the face kind of turns, you know? I almost prefer sprints over circuits anymore because like it, it's a straight shot and you kind of you can kind of pick up if you're gonna lose a sprint or not by the end and so it's a little bit quicker to uh, restart them and get back and try to try again All right, we got to go around the loop. They're blowing all their NOS early on, which is good, because I'm still keeping the lead even with the blown NOS. I'm keeping a pretty comfortable lead at that. 
I mean, they, they had a little, like, catch-up at first, but it wasn't... Shit, don't hit the car. Don't hit that car either. There was no good way of going about that one. Please don't be a car. Okay. Easy. Smash! That's a good thumbnail right there. <laughs> I just ran face first into the dude. Like, ah! <laughs> Alright. Come on. Give me something special out of this. We're slowly getting all of the performance upgrades. We're slowly getting a whole bunch of magazine covers. I don't know what I need to finish the sponsorship. I wish you could see easier what you needed to finish sponsorship. That would be so nice. me a mutt I can call him bank okay bank uh you know people rob those quite frequently and uh I guess you can instead of calling me mutt you can call me thief because I'm about to rob you of all your money ha got um boom so good all right you know it's so weird uh thinking about it like when I was younger my favorite type of races used to be the circuits just because like I got the most time racing out of them right and so I used to love them I used to think they were the best thing in the world and now that I'm older and how long they take it's just like uh I don't want to spend five years waiting for a circuit to finish. That dude's not happy. Neither is that dude. Oh my god, I am a menace. I am a menace. I am a menace. Oh my god, I clogged them up so bad out back there. You see that? Oh my god. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, balls. Ah, balls. Well, I had them clogged up real bad back there. And then I sucked so many farts that they caught up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god, all the fucking cars in the world are out again. Alright, let me get to the end of this race. I probably had another lap to go, but fuck it. Oh my god. That race was so bad. I wrecked so many times. There were so many times that, like, ugh. Holy shit.
These races are getting so tough, man. It's unreal. Well, not really unreal, but it's just crazy. All right. Let's uh let's see. Please give me a special event. That's the wrong thing. No special event. All right, we got just one circuit left, so let's just, or yeah, one circuit, one sprint, and then we got three circuits, so let's just do the sprint. My GPS really doesn't know where it's going half the time. Oh, that's a that's a heck of a sprint. Look at that turn there. Ooh. It's going to be it's going to be interesting. Oh, we got it though. We got it. Ah, yummy. I am not going to try to take this shortcut. They try to make it look like it's a shortcut, but it's really not. The tightness of the turns that you have to take in there and how small the road is, it's just not worth it. It's a, it's a red herring as it were. One dude was off the track. Oh god. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. That car has been sitting there for like the last 10 episodes. Okay. Home stretch. E Z P S squeeze me. Yes. Oh, all right. Easy, easy, easy. No problem. No problem. No problem. All right. All we got is three circuits left, and God damn it. I didn't do it last episode, but I usually do it once per episode. All right, all we got is three circuits left, and then I don't know what we're supposed to be doing to try to get to the end of the game. If I complete all of the races, then I think I'm just going to call it the end of the game, honestly. If it, if it doesn't have anything else that shows up, I, I don't know what else to do, really. I mean, I can drive around, try to find other races and stuff like that, but eventually I'm just racing all of the same things all over again, so... your chance to prove you ain't a punk i mean how much have i raised so far i feel like i've i've proved that by now my god i've been recording for a half hour oh come on just give me the end of the sponsor the end of the sponsor that i have should give me the new area I don't understand why sometimes my car is just like, I'm going to not spin out at all. 
like my launch sometimes is just eh we'll think about it that dude just uh caught a taxi did i just clip that guy and make him go into the wall that would be absolutely hilarious if i had You know, how many races, racers are there in this city, by the way? Now, I, I don't know if it's maybe because, like, the area that I'm in, there's, like, no real good spot to try to do any sort of racing or anything. Or what, but, like, I don't think there's any street racers. Or anybody who even remotely resembles a street racer in my area. Like, as with anywhere, we got the the kids who are like, oh, check out my car. I put five turbos in it and it took off the muffler. It's probably the coolest sound the car you've ever heard, you know. I mean, while they, they try to drive a manual and they're jerking around the whole time they don't know how to actually drive like every every area has them but i don't know of any like actual i mean i guess if you knew of racers and you're not in the racing world you you have like you run the risk of people knowing and getting arrested and stuff but i don't know i like you would think you would hear the cars racing if there were racers, though, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my area. Maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I've seen it. Well, I will say, I was uh, I was heading south, right? I was, I was actually just leaving the Pennsylvanian border. Uh, it was when the last time that we went to go visit my uncle and stuff like that down in Florida, right? And my mom and I were driving and uh we saw one of the craziest things i think i've ever seen when it came to like driving there was a car like speeding like taking off like it was nothing uh down the road it was on the opposite side of the road not the side we were driving on and he he was flying like there was no care whatsoever he had to have been it was like maybe a, a 55 oh god why 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 all of a sudden now you want to do a fucking burnout well looks like neither one of us were lucky there old chum run into a wall but yeah so this this dude's flying right and we see him like just go by quickly thankfully the road was like split it was it was one of the roads where i don't know i i i know exactly what i'm talking about it if you haven't seen one you'd be like what are you talking about but like there was a divider in the middle of them and there was like a little bit of a space in between each road or each divider's road whatever you know what i'm what i'm saying and uh we're like okay well he was in a hurry to get somewhere because you know there, there's like, people who speed everywhere and stuff like that right and i i see them all the time just people who want to be assholes and go flying down like 100 mile an hour down to 35 you know but uh like not even 30 seconds later we saw four cop cars racing after him like it was like he just robbed a bank all four of them had their sirens going everything and we we're like this man did something horrible and it, it was it was actually a tuner car kind of like what i'm driving like you you could tell that he he specifically tuned it up to go fast and 
it wasn't just that I'm gonna take my exhaust off to make it sound loud. It was that way because it was actually loud. And, uh, we're like, that was somebody who was being chased. And to this day, we legitimately think he was being chased because some cops broke up some street racing. Because, like, coincidence? I think not. Also, I apparently absolutely demolished that race, and I didn't even realize that I was demolishing that race. God, I wish these races didn't take so long. That's why I want the sprints, because they take like two minutes. Versus circuits that are like two minutes for just one lap. Also, I love, you know, normal days, my, it's usually relatively quiet. Like, you know, there's a couple people here and there who are talking to my Discord and stuff like that. And then on the days that I'm recording, it's just like everybody decides that they want to wake up and start talking to everybody. And so it's like, all I see is notifications going off on the side. It's like, ah, stop. Stop being so friendly with each other. I'm kidding. Be friendly with each other. It's what we're all about. Being friendly. Kind of. Most of the time. About 85% of 90% of the time. Oh, this is this is just a big old loop-de-loop. -loop. Why do they keep calling me Bammer? Are we in Alabama? Oh. Oh, my back just, like, spazzed out. Uh, we only got two races. There's just two races. One, two races. This one and then one other. So we better be getting close. These guys blow all their nitrous at the beginning. Well, that's not the way that I wanted to be on. Uh, that's, that's just unfortunate. That dude is, like, just stuck there. Did you guys see that? He was not moving. This should be a relatively fun race, though. Because it is all on the highway, so I'm just racing around the highway. I might be able to see some new high speeds. I think 176 was the highest we've got in this car. If I don't run into walls... The nice thing about races on this highway is even though there's cars on it, you got a lot of room to maneuver. 176, 177, 178, 176 so far, or 178 so far. That'd be a quick... Oh god, oh god, oh god. I was looking at the mini-map for some reason. I need to pay attention because I'm in the oncoming. On for some reason, so... I'm pretty sure it's because it's an older game and I'm playing in a resolution that's not the original resolution for this game. Oh, sh shit. But, like, the, the random like color saturation that happens it, it's not something of the video it's something of the game and i kind of started to just ignore it 
and I I apologize, but like whenever I was first editing the first episode, I tried to get rid of it, and there was no way I could clear it up. And uh, because of that, it actually makes it harder to see the headlights. Yeah, this right here it makes it harder to see the headlights versus the tail lights. So I'd much rather be in the lane that I'm supposed to be in. One ninety four, I think I just saw. It was either one eighty four or one ninety four. I'm gonna say one ninety four because it'll make me feel better about myself. This car is matching my speed so hard. Yeah, it was definitely 194 because I used the nitrous right there and I got up to 192. Damn, 194 for this car. It didn't even have like a spin out thing. It's just like you absolutely wiped them out. I don't know what more you want. Just just stop. Just This is your score here. Get out of here. Go. All right, just one more circuit. One more circuit and then we have no more races. I don't know what else we'll have to do. I mean, I can continue doing like some other small things, try to get more stuff unlocked to get my reputation up, but I don't know if that's going to do anything for me because the only thing that I know of is getting a six star reputation. That's it. This is the last race. Uh, all right, it's not too crazy of a track from what I saw. Let let's do this. Is this is legitimately the last race that is on the on the map right now? So this either is going to finish my sponsor deal and open up the new area. See why? Why does my car do that? My car really doesn't like to take off sometimes. So yeah, this is either gonna finish up my sponsor. And unlock the new area and more races. Or, oh, balls. I don't know. I, I won't know what to do if it doesn't do that. It, it's been so long since I've played this game that I legitimately don't actually remember what to do in the story at this point. All I ever remember doing is just racing a bunch. I never even really paid attention to the story. I mean, I was like 12. What 12 year old cares about stories, you know? We just want to race and make cool cars. Burger King. I will say there there are some of these races especially like towards the end of the races where these cars that I'm up against they must have like a better top speed and I'm just a generally better driver and so I manage it a lot better but they really know how to like close the distance
I probably would imagine that technically speaking I'm racing against vehicles that have oh shit all of the parts unlocked and all equipped but they're done in a way so that it's not like they have all the parts equipped like you it's still able to be beaten Shit, I almost ran into that. You know, I, I still think it's funny. When I originally set out to do a Need for Speed Underground 2 video, I set out it was going to be a one-off. And I, I've said this before, but it was going to be a one-off. I was just going to do one video and that'd be it. But there were quite a few people who were like oh the nostalgia and it was so so cool to see so many people having such nostalgia like i did and i know there's there's quite a few people who really look forward to seeing the need for speed videos just because of the nostalgia Well, that's not exactly ideal, but we can take the lead back here real soon. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. We got this. Hey, it stopped raining finally. Uh, balls. Oh my god. I don't know how I just dodged that, but I did. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have no idea how I just dodged that. Alright, why, why am I getting so many things? Okay, cool. I'm getting like so many messages on Discord now. It's like Nobody wants to talk to me any other time. Alright, let's see what it gives us. That was the last race that we had available. Nothing. We got nothing. Well, that's uh, that's interesting. So that's going to do it for now for Need for Speed Underground 2 in general. Let me know if, uh, if I maybe missed something. I wanted to get all the way through to the very, very end, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Am I... Oh, hold on. Uh, let's just go to this graphic shop right here because it's close enough. I don't, I don't know what I have for my... My rep. The only thing that I can think of is get the six star rep and get on the magazine cover. That's the only thing that I can think hey, of. people will bag on a Making your ride stand out is what it's all about. Hey, vinyl okay. is second skin style for your paint. So layer it on. Three, my.
muffler tip. Okay, there's nothing that I can do there. I'll I'll go through to every one of the shops real quick, but I I think that's it. The only thing that I can think of is try to get up to a a six star reputation. That's it. That's the only thing that I can think of. So I'll do that real quick if it's possible. If if it's even remotely possible, I'll get up to a six star reputation. I'll go throw on some spinners. I'll color the spinners and throw on the new window tint that I unlocked. But other than that, I mean, I've pretty much done everything that I could. So let me let me go do all that stuff and I'll be back shortly. OK, well, I got the car changed I, I changed the vinyl i got some spinners i got the new thing on i actually had to do a uh, a complete change of my vinyl work but i am up to six star reputation so this by the way when i'm in the garages and the shops the game is running like absolute trash and i don't know why oh It, like I really really don't understand why it's running it like hot garbage right now, but it is But the only thing that is available that I know of that I can do is this six star reputation thing hmm. It didn't even give me the reputation thing Oh, yeah, it did. She just didn't call me about it. Okay, it's just a picture. And okay, now take a photo. Alright, let's just go with that. Hey, that's actually not bad. Okay, there's a URL now. The, it's probably jump the video is probably jumping all around at this point because I'm um, trying to figure out what to do but let's, let's go do it all right so we got the URL and the best racers yeah are we gonna get story time question mark no yes no yes no no yes no 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 I'm not gonna lie, I thought that said snorting car parts. You can't see it, my face is in front of it. If I if I think about it in, uh, when I'm editing, I might move it. If not, it says snorting car parts. Okay. No story, which is interesting, but okay. This is gonna be a multi-race boy. Here comes that J turn. God damn it. That car just made me mess up my J turn. No wonder why you're not in first. You suck. Get off to the side of the road. Bitch. One more left. Man, I'd be like IRL racing if I if you had someone racing like this, they would be like the person that you never wanted to go against. Because they just don't care about their car, they just care about winning. Oh, you crashed and died. Oh, boo hoo, I won the money. You know. I still messed up the J turn, but not as bad as whenever that dude was next to me. Joshua is right behind me. How dare you, Joshua? 
Nobody is allowed to be behind me. You must be further back. You must not even be in the same race as me. Oh, that. Oh, the other. But we're good. Oh, Joshua. We weep, weeped out. He weeped it out. He weeped. He didn't wipe out. He weeped out. He he just weeping. Alright. La not last lap. Almost last lap. That J turn is forever gonna be the bane of my existence in this. I don't know why I'm opening my mouth every time I let off the gas. I'm just doing it. Don't judge me. You all open your mouths for weirder reasons. Don't let you it's okay. We don't we don't judge you. Well, I mean, okay, some of us might, but generally nobody judges you. I mean, some people don't even open their mouths to eat, and that's okay. They just suck it up in their butt. What is King talking about while he races? He has no idea. So if you're keeping up, you're doing better than King. King is King is making really bad jokes and losing his lead because of them. I got Nas too, Joshua. I probably have more Nas than you, Joshua. See, I like the URL racetracks because then I don't have to worry about any traffic. I can be anywhere on the road and it's fine. <laughs> okay. E Z. Just one E and one Z. Alright, yeah. I, I figured this was a multi-race. Usually it's if it's four laps, it's two. If it's six laps, it's one race. So I, I figured, I figured. I've been recording for an hour. Oh what, what is the little blip that I got over there? Do you guys see that? It's a little blip. We're coming up to it on the mini map. Oh, that's the little blip. Got it. Nailed it. I'm very, very good at this. Guys, that little kind of boned me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Be gone. Oh, good. The J turn. All right, all right. I'm taking it better that way, apparently. Jesus. I guess I'm better going the other way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not like that, you perverts. No, oh, I missed them. Shit. Not exactly ideal, but, you know, we'll take it. I wanted to spin him out because it seems like this guy is going to be the one to beat. Is this Joshua behind me again? Yeah, it's Joshua. Joshua. Get out of here, Joshua. Get out of here. He tried to hit my back end. Did you guys see that? Joshua. I don't know why I'm like targeting Joshua so much. Listen, if your name is Josh, Joshua, whatever. Stop being behind me, weirdo. God. At least take me on a date first.
Sorry, we got this. The first half of the course is a little tough. The second half ain't bad. Alright, lap number two down. I gotta figure out how to do this little blah, blah, at the beginning here though. Like, holy Jesus. Alright, there we go. We got the little blah, 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 that time. I don't know why I'm making it sound like one of the alien voices or whatever from Men in Black. We got blah, blah, and Bob. If you guys have never seen Men in Black, you're missing out. Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith absolutely murder some aliens and the and the box office. I'm pretty sure if they ever did Men in Black again, they would have to bring back Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. Like like a like a re redo remaster. Men in Black's kind of old. Man, I'm feeling old. I God damn it. So, I don't know how I feel about this. Apparently, now that, um, cars are not necessarily made quite up to what they once were, once a car hits, like, 15 years old, it can be considered an antique. And I don't know how I feel about that, because I'm, I'm a decade past that. Does that mean I'm an antique? What's that mean for everybody else who's older than me? Are you all like even older antiques? Hashtag antique squad? Question mark? Joshua's still on my ass, by the way. I mean, he, he's about like two seconds behind my ass, but he's still on my ass. You know, Joshua's on my ass, but I remember the name. I remember, do you remember the name? The name of which we need to find him and murder him for trying to take all the sponsors? Nate. Round one. Murder! Man, could you guys imagine? Like... One of the things that I want to get into is I want to eventually get into like more voice acting and stuff like that. I, I've I've had my voice in a couple games here and there, but never a lot. But could you imagine if like the new Mortal Kombat? Cause they they're never gonna stop making a Mortal Kombat. Let's be honest here. Could you imagine if like you heard round one fight and it was me who did it? That'd be so cool. And I I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Oh, stretch it out. Get it going. Get it moving. I have a feeling this is the last area that I just unlocked. Man, this is really turning into an all day recording session for just this game, which is all right. I, like I said, I want to get this game buttoned up and finished so we can finally get on to the next. Oh my God. Engine, engine, neon engine accents, cool Harbor West, new car in the car lot. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got so many races now that I can do. All right. So let's first and foremost, we're going to we're going to we're going to we're, we're going to run down here. That was some serious driving. Tonight's win close to the deal with the sponsor. So you're free to get out there and see if you can score another contract. Okay, so yeah, that was the That's what I thought. I just finish the sponsor and get the new area. Dude, you might want to check out the scenery in Cole Harbor. I heard the highway just got cleared up. 
So it's called Cool Harbor. All right. Let's go. Let's go upgrade the engine before we end the episode. But we are gonna be ending the episode here once we get you the know engine what? upgraded. Take Horsepower equals speed. So bolt on everything you can. Right here is the place to do it. Yeah, do you hear her, like, being real slow with her talking? I don't quite understand it myself, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so we got... Oh my god, we're so quick. We are, we are quick. So we need transmission, nitrous, tires, brakes, weight reduction, and turbo. Which I imagine I'm going to be getting here real soon. But... That is going to be the end of this episode of Need for Speed Underground 2. I will be back with another episode really, 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 really soon for you guys. I'm going to be recording it right now. So make sure you are sticking around to see hopefully the end of it. So the next episode, I think I know how I'm going to do it. But we will see. It might be like a mega episode. Uh, so expect probably a little bit longer. Even longer than the normal like hour long episode. It Depending on how I want to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Go out do something nice for somebody today. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below as well. And uh, yeah. I will see all of you guys next time. Bye guys.